Hi, Ice Cubes. Did I say what I was going to say next time? I don't know. I just stubbed the crap out of my foot. It's like bleeding me right now, anyways. But look, I'm not wearing a hat. Oh, it's too damn hot to be wearing a fucking hat out here. Anyways, um, today I was going to vlog or rant or whatever about job applications or jobs in general. I work at a Bell's outlet, though. I really wish I didn't because they still have me as temporary and they they're pretty much breaking the rule. You can't have someone on temporary and also have them on a retirement plan. You either put them at part time or full time. If it's on temporary, you do not give them cat a a plan for retirement. I'm just a temporary, why give it to me? You know? Um, I was not trained at all. I've worked there since September of last year and have not been trained on the register at all. Actually, I worked on it for maybe 15 minutes with someone on a really slow day, and then they stopped, and I didn't know what to do, and I was just like, what the hell am I supposed to fucking do here? She maybe helped me a little bit. She helped a little, but she was also busy with her own. So I was kind of just stuck, like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Excuse my reputation, but I didn't know what to do. Right now, I've applied for Crowder Brothers, which is a place that sells paintbrushes, car parts, bolts, and stuff like that. They have a gift store, but... There's a whole bunch of girls in there that bullied me from high school. Why the hell would I want to work with them? Exact reason why I'd want to work at a grocery store. I applied for Winn Dixie. It used to be Sweet Bay, but Winn Dixie bought it. Oh my god. I it took me an hour to fill out my application because they have it online. And if you hit the backspace, you have to start all over. Even though you saved it, you still have to go through all the crap that you were doing and start over. It's bullshit, pretty much. And it was so stressful for me to do it, I cried because I was so stressed out and pissed off. And there was this chick who came in with her daughter and they were using the um, pulley cart thing that old people normally use, or people that have like broken legs, you have to sit in the machine, and it actually is a vehicle cart thing. And then two teenagers were in it, and they crashed into the wall, and the people that worked there were just looking at them like, what are you doing? You don't look at them. You tell them that it's against the rules to use it unless you actually have to. Um, where else did I apply to? My parents want me to apply to a Kmart. There's no fucking way I'm going to work in such a shit store in my entire life. It is like working at Bell's Alley, just it's a bigger store and it has food and stuff. I'm not going to work in something that was just my job. Um, Walmart? Hell fucking no. I ain't working in Walmart. That has to be one of the most embarrassing jobs to ever work at is McDon McDonald's and Walmart. Any fast food restaurant you will never see me working in unless I desperately need a job somewhere. The food is not something I want to go to. My dad wants me to go get a job at Publix. The only two Publixes that are in walking lengths for me, all of my friends go to. So the only reason why I don't want to go to them is I feel like I'm going to get fired because I was getting distracted by one of my friends. That's why you don't go somewhere that all of your friends are at. Like, Freedom Village is a place that they go and they feed old people. And it's a cafe thing, and both of my best friends, the twins, they both work there. And I wouldn't want to work there, even though they have different sections. If I got placed into one that one of my friends was working at, I'd probably get them fired or myself because I would be too distracted to talk with them to do my actual goddamn work. 
Though I heard working there is really, really crappy because they, even though everyone is supposed to be paid the same amount, like my friend Sarah, my best friend, with her twin, her twin was paid two dollars higher than she was when she started working there. Even though they're supposed to pay the same amount to everyone, they're not. I work for Bell's Outlet, my minimum wage is eight twenty-five. I get paid eight twenty-five every single time I work there. You know how many times I've worked there in the past few days or two weeks? I've worked there once for six hours. That's not enough pay. I pay sixty dollars rent, and at the end of the month, I pay the end of the week, and I also pay my phone bill. That's one hundred and twenty dollars. I give pretty much my entire freaking paycheck to my dad, so for my rent money. Uh, the last place that I put money into, I put money into Petland. I like Petland. It is filled with people that actually like what they're doing for their job. I have tried, I put in over maybe 20 applications to Pet Supermarket and they will not hire me and every single person that they hire there are from job fairs. The job fairs are somewhere where I can't reach or no one is available to drive me there for, what, three hours? And every single person that they choose out of job fair don't know what the fuck they're doing because they're idiots. There was one kid there who took 20 minutes to try open up the reptile section so someone could look at a lizard. They ended up leaving because they couldn't deal with the fact that this kid could not open it. He spent forever trying to open the thing and he was so paranoid, so selfish that he could not, he would not ask for help. And when someone tried to ask for help, he's like, I know what I'm doing, go away. So no one would be able to help him, so he wasn't able to help the person that was there. You don't be a paranoid little fuck, you ask for help if you can't do something. I can't do something, I go ask, I go and ask someone else. At my store the other week, last week some chick was there and she is known for stealing stuff and she had a cart full a cart full of baby clothes and junior clothes and they we pretty much had every single person on our staff watching this lady we were not helping anyone else we were just looking after this one lady and everyone was just like why the fuck are they watching one of our employees pushed some cards out of the way to put it back in the cart session. I'm sorry, I'm talking so fast, but I'm trying to watch my dogs at the same time. She pushed the cards out in such a slow motion. You see this chick grab every single one of clothing that she had, and it's pouring down rain outside as well. They had locked the doors, and this chick bolted, and she bolted so hard into the doors she pushed them off the track and she bolted down the um down the sidewalk and got into this suv which pulled into the parking lot across the street which someone actually got their car license plate so they'll probably get in trouble hey uh -uh. stop hey but they, she was caught. They don't know if she was caught or not. She, her car and stuff was, was just, I don't know. It was hard. My shoe's falling apart. Ah! Fuck. Stop. Come on. But yeah, she, we don't know if she was caught or not, and she just, she just stole so much stuff. I couldn't believe. They got her on film as well, and they also got a picture of her, so. She's floating around somewhere on the wanted list. But, I hope that I get the job at Petland. Because it's, it's a very awesome place to work at. The people love their job. They love helping the people that go in and shopping. The only thing bad about Petland is their dog prices. There's a dog, a mixed breed, so it's a mutt. It's, it was a Sharpay mixed with a hound. 
I think it was a Sharpe. And it was it's a really wrinkly dog. It, it was pure reddish brown color, but it's a mixed breed, so the mutts go lower than anything. And they should not be so high priced. A normal dog there is maybe 1900 The Sharpe mix was 1300 And the worst thing is, you have all these rich people, and they, they go out and they buy the pure breeds. You have these poor motherfucking people around here. And they're buying these high ass priced dogs. There was a lady who was maybe around 300 pounds and her husband or her boyfriend or whatever. And he's, he's, he's not that skinny, but he's not that fat either. And he, he's standing there, he's like, they were looking at like Shih Tzus or something. And he's like, you don't need another fucking dog. You don't need another dog. And she's holding this dog and she's bitching at him right in front of everyone. The employer was just like, I'm going to kill both of you if you don't shut the fuck up for once in your life. And we're sitting here watching her, and she buys this dog. And the price of this fucking dog that she bought, it was, um, let's see. It was 1900 plus the care package, which is like 50 bucks. So she bought a dog for $1,950. Why would you buy a dog for $1,950? I... We got a dog there, but she was almost a year old. So we got her for $290. We got a dog from the, the flea market. $100. We got another one. $100. You don't buy a dog over over a hundred dollars. I'm sorry. If you're poor, you, you don't buy a dog that's more expensive than your car or your house. And the fact that you have to, and those people actually have to pay every month till they actually fill the requirement of the paycheck of the dog. So... Yeah, people can be really, really stupid when you buy the animals there. They do overprice a lot of their pets at Petland, but they get them for good quality and they actually take care of them. So you go to other places and the animals are dead inside the tanks and they're just sitting there and the people are just like, oh, I don't care. Petland's a great place to work at. And I'm, my dad worked there, so I, I want, I've always wanted to work in a pet store and I've never really gotten the experience actually I do have the experience because I own over too many fucking pets in my house. I have two cats, three dogs, and like thirteen reptiles and a spider. Though I don't really want to own the spider, but still. Be a good thing. Also, before I end this video, do not let your parents overrun you and try to make them don't let them run your life or run what you want to work at. I don't want to work at a fast food restaurant. Neither one of my dad, but my mom's like, you know, if it comes down to it, you're going to have to work there. I'm not going to fucking work at a fast food restaurant. Sorry. Do you really think I want to work somewhere with a whole bunch of dumb fucks who don't like their job? Getting answers of food from dumb fucks who are too fat to walk. So they're in those little cart things that pull them around. No, I don't want to work there. I'm sorry. Uh, other things with that, no one cares. So, I'm gonna end this video now, so, toodaloo, motherfuckers, I hope you like your job, so, bye!